the it's argument one. about Manny is that Manny had gone up so many different weight classes and kept his power. And people were like, come on, son. Mm -hmm. He's like, get the fuck out it's of here. It's probably the game. I don't hate on those guys. I hey, just assume he's doing it. Yeah, I don't hate on him either. I mean, look, the deal is that uh, you pass the tests. That's Even the deal. if they're not testing, I don't give a fuck. You're fighting Marquez, who's yeah. clearly on this Tijuana. Oh, yeah. Tijuana, the Tijuana T tamale <laughs> fucking protein powder. The fuck is the Tijuana that? testosterone, son. The Tijuana test, you know? Yeah, and 100%. So if he got on that Filipino, you know. What's cycle. crazy is that dude, um, Juan Manuel Marquez, had the same trainer. They used to be a trainer for Manny. Yes. It was a guy that hooked him. Yeah. What's his name? Angel? Uh, I think it's Alex. Something, I thought it was like Al something yeah. like that. Really smart physical conditioning trainer. He had uh, Manny doing a bunch of really interesting stuff. He's very good. Very good, but he got picked up before. He got busted before for, like, mm. injecting the Bane stuff. <laughs> he, he got in trouble before. He, was it the same guy that like, got in trouble? I feel like that's his thing, mm. right? Like, that's what he I was known for. I know he's supposed to be a really good trainer regardless. Well, you know, I mean, you got to think. When you got a guy like Floyd or Juan Manuel Marquez or you know, anybody, or Manny, you, you got, like, a championship caliber athlete. You know, you got like, you got a Ferrari. Y yeah, I mean, you got to make sure the tires are good, suspension's tight, and like you're a physical conditioning trainer. You can't fuck the guy up too bad by the time he gets to his boxing skill work. You don't want him to be that exhausted. No, but also, if we're racing cars, and you know homeboy over here put a V12 in his, you can't be running with a V10. No. We got to match V12s. Yeah, we got to match that V12. By V12s, I mean, let's get that Filipino <laughs> hot sauce. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's that's the game, though. Yeah, when Manny was in his prime too. So oh my God! Remember him? Jacked, j -j -jacked, jacked, little dude. And I remember he was like at strip clubs, like wiling out, very John Jones ish. And then his wife was like, "This shit has to stop." And, and then he got flatlined. He's like, "Jesus, let's do it." Yeah, he found Jesus. He dressing all weird, yeah, running for government, and changed shit. his life. Changed his life. <laughs> I don't know if that's the best thing for fighters, man. <laughs> Oh, who knows? It's uh, the problem <laughs> no. is, especially now with testing. You know, they show up at your house and knock on your door. You got to be clean. Yeah, Unless I mean, you got a rubber dick and a really good friend. Yeah, even give then, you some blood. Even then, you're in trouble, man. Yeah, you gotta have a twin and have that twin like live a steady, healthy diet. I don't know. Just don't tell anybody about him. <laughs> <laughs> just leave him in the basement. <laughs> Look at him there against Marco Santonio Pereira. Dude, I got pissed so bad at people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold it down. Damn, he looked super jacked there. Yeah, there's one where he looked, he's bit looked jacked. Damn, yeah. jacked there too. Which that? That's the the Floyd fight. Yeah. When it when he was like when he first started out, he was I think he was, I think he started out as a flyweight. Like I'm not sure though. I have to look at his uh, career record. Pull up Manny Pacquiao's career record. Because I'm pretty sure he went through eight different weight classes, which is crazy. Really stop and think about that. I don't think very many people have done it. So, this is boring for a podcast. We're just going over stats of Manny Pacquiao. <clears throat> Who the fuck knows what's going to happen, man? The, the, what's interesting is that it's actually going to happen. I'm just a big fan of freak shows. And that's, and I don't mean that disrespectfully, like that... It's not uh, a, a real contest. Obviously, obviously, it is from a betting perspective, and obviously, it is because Connor is a real combat sports world champion. But it's a freak show in that it's we don't know. It's not like like if Connor fought Rafael dos Anjos at 170, it's a fight. Like, ooh, this is gonna be interesting. I wonder how this is gonna play out. I wonder if it's. You know, they were supposed to fight at 155. I wonder if Dos Anjos can fit. You know, if that kind of thing happens, that's an interesting fight. That's interesting to think about. You have all these variables. You've seen their fights. Never seen Connor Box. You see, like, little tiny clips. That's all you ever see. When's the last time there was a fight like this where it was <clears throat> made, like, by the people? I don't think ever. UFC at all, ever? Well, there was James Tony versus Randy Couture, but James was well past his prime and, you know, really didn't train for it at all. He didn't know. I mean, there was a, <laughs> there was a video of James Tony preparing for the Randy Couture fight. And he was, <laughs> he was out, way out of shape. And he was just kind of like hitting pads. And the guy would like shoot the worst double leg takedown on him in the history of the known universe. And James would kind of sprawl. 
and he'd be like, yeah, I'm working on my grappling, you know, working on my boxing, working, <laughs> working on, on my boxing, working on my boxing, my He's grappling. always had discipline issues. They said he barely trained for that fight. <laughs> and that, but that's the thing, uh, boxing experts like, I mean, it's like James Tony coming to your world. Like, no. Well, no, it's not. It's fucking no. not. No. He came in out of shape, didn't respect the game. Yeah. Fuck, just kind of was doing it for the paycheck. It's like if Anthony Joshua gets, you know, if he's got an actual black belt in jiu-jitsu we don't know about, and then decides to fight MMA. Yes, but he's all, fighting Steve. But he's already Anthony Joshua. Yes. Yeah, that's really what it's like. That's what it's like. It's like, how's he going to deal with kicks? How's he going to deal with that? That's where it's like. Yes. There's some X factors like, I don't know, but I know he does these two things very damn well. And he's super good at knocking people dead. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Like, that's one of the things that guy does. Like, that's, that's a real threat. He's at Connors in his prime. He's 28 years old. It's a real threat. And you know, Floyd's and he believes not. he's gonna do it. Yeah. Like the one I thing about Connor is he 100% believes he's gonna win this fight. Which is when you got a guy like that and he has momentum on his side and you got the fucking nation of Ireland behind you. God, man. Yeah, it's some Game of Thrones special shit. shit. And also, Floyd legitimately is almost 41. Like I think he might be 41 at the fight. Like I think like his birthday happens between. Like what's his birthday? Like he might be 41 now. Like, I think he's during training camp, he turned 41. That, pic- what he, that picture he released on Instagram, though, I was like, he does not look 41. <laughs> yeah, he's great. February. Okay, so he's real close. He's Six close, Six months man. away, whatever yeah. it is. So when he gets to be whatever the age is when the wheels fall off. Is 42? it this fight? Is it 40? Who knows? 41? Who knows? That's the thing. Yeah, who knows what happens if he gets dinged? I think he will be slower. and Because if, if it's Floyd in his heyday, yeah, kind of didn't stand a chance, but... Floyd, a, a, a notch slower, man. Well, you remember Maidana. You know, Maidana came in f- fucking winging bombs at Floyd. Yeah. And the first fight, Floyd kind of, I think, maybe either underestimated him or didn't understand, like, the like the style that he was going to yes. present. And he got clipped. He got clipped with one punch at the end of one of the rounds where his legs wobbled. And mm-hmm. I was like, whoa. And then remember, Floyd did the rematch. Kind of picked him apart. Him up. Yeah, but once he up. downloaded it. But oh yeah, the I just rematch. think he underestimated. Didn't take him serious. It's possible, or it's possible. My Donna fought really well in the first fight and didn't fight so well in the second fight for various reasons. Yeah, but 